Imagine living in the middle of a protected nature reserve. For Gilberto Jimenez and his two friends, that's reality. The vast Sierra Madre Oriental mountain range in northeastern Mexico is their home. On the way to their fields, they pass the stream. It supplies water to the entire village. But over the years, the farmers have observed unsettling changes. The climate keeps changing. It's becoming drier and the water's decreasing. Actually, the water in this basin should reach up to here. And this one should be this high. When there's a lot of water, it bubbles out on the top and not here at the bottom. Every year in May, the villagers erect crosses as a sign of gratitude for the water and as a prayer that the water will stay. Their fields lie on the mountain slopes. Once this was all forest area. Now beans, chilies and especially corn, the staple food, are grown here. The corn is for the family. We don't sell any of it. We plant it and harvest it as we need it. The corn is just for our own needs. There's no sign of irrigation on the fields. The people rely on the rains and the cloud forests that dominate this part of the Sierra Madre Oriental. Clouds accumulate on the mountain slopes, triggering precipitation. The rainfall is much heavier than in the lowlands, leading to a moist ecosystem in which plenty of species thrive. But the cloud forests are increasingly shrinking and agriculture is taking over the land. That worries Alejandro von Bertrab. He supports the Mexican authorities who protect the area. And he has a clear goal. It's not just about controls, but about creating new and innovative incentives and developing projects with the people where they can, of course, use the land and where it's not threatening. Alejandro is on a team from the German development organization, GIZ. They're visiting the protected area to talk to the locals and listen to their problems. This farmer is talking about how pomegranates and avocados used to grow in the region. But he says they don't grow there anymore. The cutting of forests to make way for new fields has changed the soil. It's become drier. That could prove to be dangerous. Climate change can make such things worse. If there's a high level of erosion, because there's no forest anymore, and at some point there's a storm with heavy rain, all the topsoil can be washed away with the water, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Planting trees as a wind barrier could offer some protection. But it's not easy to restore the original landscape. The residents of Jaltepec are used to the presence of the scientists in their village. Two and a half thousand people live here. They're the focus of the current project. That includes Gilberto Jimenez and his wife Rosa. They have 14 children and, naturally, many grandchildren as well. Today, the residents of Haltepec have been invited to a workshop. It focuses on their future and how to live in the protected area without destroying the forests. The scientists are still seeking solutions. They want to work together with the residents. After all, the locals know the land and weather best, and they've learned to adapt to changing conditions. Usually, experts come to such communities with preconceived notions. These are the problems, these are the solutions. 
We're trying to do the opposite. We're asking the people what problems they have and then searching for the solutions. One of the results of the workshop is this annual calendar. When does what grow and what impacts the harvest? That helps the scientists and also raises awareness among the villagers about how everything is connected. The project has already led to concrete change. A hundred kilometers away in San Nicolas. These people belong to the village's firefighting unit. They're on their way to a deployment. This brigade was set up last year. They respond to fire alarms or they cut fire breaks in the forest to prevent fires from spreading. The other villages laugh at us for doing this. But those of us in the fire brigade know how important the forests are for us. The forests are the most important thing. Let the people laugh. Alejandro von Bertrab welcomes the attitude. He's counting on the fact that awareness of the environment will continue to grow, ensuring that the forests have a future. It's early evening by the time Gilberto Jimenez comes home from his fields. Today he presents his family a basket full of corn that for once isn't meant for dinner. Instead, he plans to replant it in the next days in the vast mountains of Sierra Madre Oriental.